Hi everyone, it's Tammy Hornick. I am your Tupperware director and your TW chick. So you can find me online at yourtwchick.com and you can always email me at yourtwchick at gmail.com and I'm here today to talk to you about the Tupperware warranty. I am actually very excited about the Tupperware warranty. There, um, sometimes there could be Tupperware folks um, that are independent Tupperware folks that find the warranty process to be a little bit of annoying. But for me, I think that it is one of um, the benefits of Tupperware that I'm the most proud of. I'm very excited um, when I'm able to take something that, um, that someone bought years ago and it broke and replace it for them for no charge. So my goal of today is to actually um, show you, the consumer, the person sitting there with a broken piece of Tupperware. First of all, I want to tell you, please don't throw it away. Never, ever, ever throw away Tupperware. Almost always we can replace it for you. So um, I want to just go over how to do that. First of all, if you are not local to me or you don't know me, you can always go to Tupperware.com and you can search for a consultant who's close to you and because sometimes it is easier to get your warranty replaced with someone who's local. Um that can be easier for you because then you can drop it off and you don't have to do the legwork that I'm getting ready to teach you. So if um, actually kind of right now with the COVID um, environment where we are all staying home and we're limiting our social interaction with others and, you know, we're kind of limiting what things we touch that someone else has touched, then you are more than welcome to it to follow this process, because this is going to be, I'm going to teach you the information that you need to give your consultant so she can give you good service and she or he can give you good service and take care of it. So, um, Tupper, most Tupperware products are covered by our limited lifetime warranty. So it is limited. Um, and most requests fall under this category. Now, there are some products that Tupperware has that do not have a lifetime warranty. The best way for you to kind of guess if, it has the lifetime warranty is if it is a plastic piece and it is a Tupperware branded item, then you can pretty much, um, rest on the fact that we can replace this piece for you. Um, any, um, of our product covered by this limited lifetime warranty can be replaced if the product is crap, cracked, <laughs> I'm so funny, cracked, peeling, chipped, or broken. Okay. Um, I don't happen to have any cracked or broken here, but I'm pretty sure that that's self-explanatory and you know what that means. Um, but I am going to show you some pieces that are not covered. So sometimes if you're unfamiliar with the warranty, um, folks kind of will ask us to replace things that aren't really covered. And um, we cannot cover any of the items that have been used commercially. So the product has to have been used in your home and exclusively in your home. Um, that commercial clause is like restaurants, school cafeterias, um, places where things are obviously get used more than in a normal home. Um, or products that have been damaged due to incorrect use or incorrect care of the product. Um, in these cases, you can get a replacement um, or you might just want to buy something new because we have some really great new things. So I'm going to show you some things that are not covered. If you have a family like mine, you probably have something like this in your home. But this piece, which has, I don't know if these are horrible water spots or what, but you see this? That is melted. Okay completely melted. I don't know what they put in this because it's very round and it actually makes me kind of giggle, but, um, anything melted. And then on this, you can't see it, but white microwave damage. So I'll show you some microwave damage on this plate. This is a microwave luncheon plate. Yes, it is meant for the microwave. However, it is supposed to be put in the microwave on reheat power. So Anytime you use Tupperware, if you put something with high fat content or high sugar content, you are going to increase the chances of it damaging, aesthetically damaging your product. The product is not going to hurt you. It's not going to make, it's not going to get into your food, nothing like that. It's still safe, 
it's just going to have an aesthetic uh, problem with it. And this piece right here, um, you can see, has some white, um, some white stuff. Also, hopefully you can see, there are some scratches all over this plate. Oh, there you go. You can see the scratches. See them there? <laughs> yeah, that's because we use knives on our plates. Probably not the smartest, but hey, we do it anyway. Oh, there you go. And then you can see this white microwave damage. Those um, things are not covered in our limited lifetime warranty. However, if you have a piece like this, don't throw it away ever because what is on the back? Oh, I think it was just light. Um, don't throw your Tupperware away. When this does break, if it does, then it would fall under the category of our limited lifetime warranty and we would be able to replace it. So sometimes our microwave products, um, well, you know, anything can crack or, um, or break over the years. So um, when that happens, when your piece does fall within the warranty guidelines, then we can replace it for you. Um, now, the next thing that we need to um, talk about is um, how do Tupperware consultants know what to replace for you when we don't require a receipt? Can you imagine? No receipt, lifetime warranty. We've been around for 73 years. It's kind of cool. So what Tupperware does is they mold into the plastic a mold number. The best way to find that I wanted to get one that is a little bit better of an example. The best way to find the mold number, this one's sort of transparent, so it's hard to see, but you want to locate the Tupperware logo, you get it where you can see it, and right directly six o'clock is usually where you will find the mold number. And if I get this really close, you can see it is 3273A-4, I think. It's something like that. I'm reading it backwards. So the mold number is going to consist of either three or four digit number, possibly a letter, a dash, and a number. The number that we are really concerned with is the three or four digit number at the beginning. The letter and the dash and the number usually is an indication of color. So on this plate, we locate the Tupperware logo. And right at six o'clock, I don't know what o'clock, it's not centered, but right below it is the mold number. And it is very little, very little. Okay, that number is 3398B-4. The easiest way sometimes to see these, because sometimes the numbers are really small. In fact, most of the time they are. On this one, I was kind of lucky, um, is to turn it in the light. Or take your cell phone light or a flashlight, maybe even a magnifying glass, or take it outside where you can see it really in bright light. Um, but if it is truly a Tupperware branded piece, um, it will always have a mold number. Now, sometimes your Tupperware item consists of more than one piece in the case of this tumbler. So I have this tumbler on the bottom of the tumbler. We have the Tupperware logo. And just right at six o'clock, just like normal, there is a mold number there. The mold number is 2414H-1. Now, what happens if I have something break? Say this piece breaks. Look at that. This particular product comes with three different parts. So if this little piece is broken, then we can replace it for you. Sometimes what happens with these is our family chew on them. Our family like to chew on this. It's not covered to be replaced for free if this is chewed on. However, I can order you a part for it and you can, you can fix your, um, your piece. Now on this, like say your family chewed on it. Okay. Um, the Tupperware logo is on the front because it's part of the top of a tumbler and it aesthetically we want the logo there, but they didn't really want to put all of the details. So in this case, the mold number is on the back. So sometimes the mold number is not on the same um, side of the piece as the logo, but it will be there. The most common frequent thing that I hear is there's no number 
And I just reassure everyone, I promise you there is. So on this one, it is 4822A-6. Um, now, should you lose this little guy, sometimes this one like goes missing or whatever, or maybe sometimes this little thing will break off. Another thing that happens on these sometimes is this will break off. So all of those things are covered under the warranty. All you need to do is get with your friendly Tupperware gal or guy and we'll get it replaced for you. So on this piece, again, the Tupperware logo curved right through there and right at six o'clock, just like promised, there it is. You can't see it in the slide, I know, um, but the number is there and it is 5641. No, I, this is either 5641-7 or it's 564-I-7, not sure. Um, so now when you, um, if you have a lot of warranty items, it might be easier for you to, um, find someone local so you can bring them a bag of Tupperware and let them replace it for you. Um, also you can go to Tupperware.com and, um, you can replace your Tupperware on our website. So you have to understand that our Tupperware consultants are independent business owners. So when you need to, um, replace your warranty, they do not make money on that. Okay. We are more than happy and thrilled to help you with your warranty. You know, especially if we build a relationship and then, um, maybe you have a Tupperware party or whatever. You don't have to do those things, but it is nice that if whoever you speak to is someone that you have a relationship with. Um, if you don't have a Tupperware person at all and you have no interest at all in, um, in, being a customer in the future or whatever, it might be um, the nicest thing just to go direct to Tupperware. So you can go to Tupperware.com and you can contact customer service and they do have a warranty form that you can fill out online. Um, now, as far as um, the um, process for replacing your warranty, if you have um, something that is no longer available, then we would call that obsolete. And um, if you have an obsolete item, you're going to have a decision that you need to make. Do I really want to keep this piece? Does it still serve a function in my kitchen and in my life? Um, was it something sentimental that my grandmother or someone in my family had? And so I want to keep it. Or do I truly just um, don't need it and I want to get something in its place? So we can do that for obsolete items. Tupperware will tell your consultant or our system will tell the consultant how much of a credit can be given to you for that item. Now, if you have one piece of a, um, an item that it, the, that it's required to have all of the pieces for it to work, then, um, it's kind of becomes like a one off decision on whether we can replace all of those pieces for you. Or, um, all right, we can give you a credit for all of those pieces or, um, or if it's will be just a credit just for the one broken piece. Now, the one thing you have to understand about warranty is Tupperware has been around for 73 plus years. Okay. We have had every color under the sun. I mean, look at this, this, this tumbler has a fabulous like print on it. And, um, this, this bowl is, um, Oh, pet, like transparent and purple. I mean, we have had every kind of color you can imagine over the um, years and Tupperware cannot feasibly warehouse and guarantee your color. So when you have a piece that is broken, that we replace for you either by purchasing the part or by the free replacement warranty, um, we cannot guarantee color and your consultant has no clue what you will get. If I, as a director with this company, have a broken piece of Tupperware and I file um, and I file a warranty claim, I don't know what color I'm going to get. That is um, for everyone the exact same. We have no idea what color that the warehouse has. So you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So, um, but, you know, on a tumbler like this, if I had to replace my seal, it doesn't really matter what color it is. Um, it would probably be just fine. Um, so my goal was to just mainly help you understand how to find these little mold numbers. Make sure you get it in the light. 
Um, sometimes you might have to find someone with young eyes. <laughs> um, I have middle of the road eyes, so probably it is easier for my husband to see them with his bifocals. But anyway, so um, just make sure that if you have a lot of warranty and you are um, asking for it to be replaced and we are not local to each other, that you um, give a nice concise list with the mold number and then the description of what you um, remember the item to be called mold number description, mold number description in a nice clean um, way. And then take all of the Tupperware that you have sent to your consultant that you would like replaced and place it in a bag. And then once she or he respond to you and let you know what items can be replaced, what items are obsolete um, and you know, so on and so forth. Then um, she or he will direct you and you'll make decisions on whether it's a piece that you want to just hang on to or whether you want to move forward with that process. Once you have placed that order and you know, everybody knows we're ready to place the order and we know what you're going to get and what you're not. Um, we are going to ask you to set those pieces aside and keep them or give them to your consultant for 30. Um, you're going to either surrender them to your consultant or you're going to put them aside for 30 days. Um, then you will be required to, once you receive your order and we can confirm that you receive the right things, then we are going to ask you to put a black magic marker with a Sharpie, a black X on the item with the date and keep those items for 30 days. We will need to have those items available. So Tupperware can request them to be sent to them if necessary. And then once Tupperware has, um, once the 30 days have passed, um, then we will ask you to discard that Tupperware in your garbage and or in your recycling to get rid of it. But it is important that it have a black um, permanent X placed on it and the date. So then no one else can go and find that broken piece of Tupperware and get it replaced again. So, um, I, again, am Tammy Hornick, your TW chick. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me um, all over the place. Go to your TWchick.com. Um, and I'm happy to be your TW chick. If you don't have one already, if you do, then um, hopefully this video helped you understand how to uh, get the consultant the information that she needs. So she or he needs so they can actually... Um, process your warranty for you quickly and effectively. And I hope that you have a blessed day.